YouTube, remember how I said, like, oh, we haven't done Packmaster in a while, and then a lot of you commented, yeah, I actually really liked it. It's, like, used sparingly, because then it makes it more nice when we get more Packmaster content. Well, I have more Packmaster content, because I was going to do some, like, more normally content. I just needed some stuff to do for a day, and then chat was like, what if we give you a bunch of subs and you play Packmaster? And then I did, and then I got a fucking awesome-ass run that I really want to show you, so... Uh... I know you're not mad. I'm just acting like it. Maybe you will be. But either way, YouTube, I hope you enjoy the Packmaster content today. Uh, we wanted this to be an orb-based run. If you can believe that after you're done watching this, it was going to be about orbs. Either way, I hope you enjoy it. If you do, give it a like, give it a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I'll, I'm on vacation this weekend, a mini vacation. Uh, so you'll be seeing me in the same clothes throughout the next couple of videos. See you tomorrow. Mwah. I feel like I've been doing nothing but freaking Packmaster shit. Nothing but freaking Packmaster stuff, man. You guys are obsessed with this damn character. So let's go. We're choosing all of our packs today. Every single one. But you know that we're always going to lean towards wanting to play packs that we haven't uh, yet beaten a run with. So, the Psychic Pack. Do the impossible through powers beyond reason. <gasps> Holy. Chat wants the Pinnacle Pack. I mean, it's literally either you take the quiet because it has some good draw content. You take the utility pack because it has utility. Or you take the pinnacle because it has supporting utility. <laughs> it's honestly, they're, both of these packs are the same, except this one has slightly more front-loaded. I'll take utility. Ooh. A collection of defective cards focused on access to orbs. Okay. The Hermit. The Watcher. No stance cards, by the way. So this would be a lot of scry and things like that. Or you do intrigue. Partake in the Spire's deadliest pastime. Politics. Huh? What? Huh? <laughs> what? Okay. Uh, I guess. Sure. Uh, Shaman. Ours are inspired by the Shaman character mod, Ignite Your Enemies. Discard the, what you don't need and what you do. Slap this roof. This deck can generate so many statuses. Have we played with this? We've played with this before. I just don't remember what it does. I like Entropy, though. I remember. I, I think I remember Entropy. I mean, this pack is like all stars. You see the stars on this pack, man? Okay, let's take some statuses. Rimworld. Mental breaks and eating without a table. For massive power, of course. Okay, I guess we're taking the rim job. I mean, rim world. I mean, rim job. I mean, rim world. Uh, directly activate your orbs. Care not for ma- We should take witch's strikes. We should take witch's strike because it's orbs and orbs and orbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, orbs is good. No, that's bad. You're bad. All right. These are our packs, Chad. We shall now pog out of our goddamn mind. We can be bad for you. Uh, would you say that you're- I don't want to, I don't want to say it. I don't want to, I was going to, I was going to say some goofy shit there. I was going to take, I was going to say some real goofy shit. I don't know if I want to. I'm going to take a common relic here. Centennial puzzle. Great. I was going to say naughty. No, I was going to, I don't know what I was going to, I don't want to repeat what I was going to say. Actually, I don't want to. <clears throat> Might be a little bit of a freak. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't, like, go out on that limb, you know? This chat has a lot of baddies. I don't want to... I wouldn't, I wouldn't really go there, honestly. Excitement! Manifest one random orb. So, if you guys don't know what Manifest does, Manifest uh, creates an orb slot for that orb and then makes the orb. I mean, excitement's really good, though. Especially on turn one, if we're drawing extra cards. It is it is kind of good. So I'm going to take that early on. It's just a good utility card. No way. <laughs> the utility card's good utility. <laughs> Check out that combo. You have a brother. Is he as hot as you? I do... I, You know, I do have a brother. I... I do... I do have a brother. <laughs> I 
damn, I'm taking 10 damage. That do be jaw worm. Uh oh, you got jaw wormed. Brainwave. Deal 10 damage to all enemies. Make a random attack in your hand a cult. A cult card can be played disregarding any conditions for playability. Cards played this way are exhausted. Ooh. Fuck it. I'm taking it. So you could go this way and take quadruple elites. I don't know if I want to. Could also go this way and take double elites and have a very safe path. It appears to be working. Awesome. Awesome. Check this out, dude. They just die. Okay, hold on. Pyromaniac. At the start of your turn, set a random card on fire. Play an additional. So uh, play an additional time for each fire counter, and exhaust. Increase fire counter by one at the end of your turn while in your hand. So it plays the card an additional time for all of your fire counters. Wait, this card I feel like got buffed. I feel like when we when we originally saw it, it needed like two counters in order for it to actually proc. When you originally saw it, it was way more complicated, but it's since they made it less words. I like less words. Blood vials, all right. All right, let's go take double elite and kill ourselves. I mean, we're gonna hog out of our mind is what I meant to say. All right, hit me. Set it on fire. So that, that's going to play twice if we use it. Which is kind of sick. Okay, let's pop this. Oh, look at that. Wait, but then it exhausts? Wait, when a card is on fire, it exhausts? Oh. Okay. Oh, did I do that wrong? I did that wrong. So it's not that occult cards exhaust. It's that if you play it outside of its ability to be played. So since I had the mana for it, it didn't count as using occult. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. All right. Next turn, we get excitement. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Play this. Double brainwave. Hold up. Let me cook. I'm going to exhaust my entire deck real quick. I'm going to not exhaust this one. And then I'm going to exhaust this one. And then we're going to play this. And then we're going to exhaust that. Okay. We got this. We got this. And now once your deck gets down to just a few cards, this card's on fire too. So it'll play three times if we use it right now. Holy. And then this will play twice. And then we can do this. And then that. And now our deck is literally a strike and a defend. Oh, no. Okay, this is getting complicated, man. This is getting complicated, though. This is getting complicated. Locking cards become unplayable once played. Deal nine damage, gain nine block, apply two weak. But then it becomes unplayable once played. Ooh. But then if we hit it with a cult, we can then play it again. Or if it's on fire. Wait, also if it's on fire, it will also be played? I don't think so. I think it'll just play once. Yeah, but you can't occult it, exactly. I'm going to take that. F it, man. And then maybe lift me. Has he upgraded this? Nate. 14. That's a little bit of that. I'm going to lift. <clears throat> Yo, what up? Okay. Um. No orbs in the orb deck. Shut up! <laughs> no orbs yet. <laughs> excitement hello excitement give me with a distilled chaos Ooh. 
Hold up. It deals 10 damage right now, so we can do this, that. We don't need to play excitement. Oh my god. My brain is going fucking crazy right now. Okay. Double play that. Hit you, hit you. I hope that it can't burn. <laughs> I was hoping. Wait, it can occult those cards too? This is fucking stupid. This is fucking dumb, man. Nobody told me that it can... Oh, a cult is attacks only? Oh, it's an attack only occult. That would make sense. Why it's only hit attack so far. <laughs> that would make a sense. Uh, if... Okay, Apex. If a card in your hand... If cards in your hand are precious... Wait. If all cards in your hand are precious... Ascend. Demote all cards in hand to common. What the hell? I mean, if I just say that my cards are precious? So precious equals uncommon and rare cards. And ascend is gain two energy, draw two cards, and gain ten strength that turn. We do have a lot of those cards, but we really we really don't have. If you demote them, are they less efficient? Decreases the rarity of a card from... No, I think it just makes them less useful. I think if we, like, get rid of a lot of the cards in our deck... You know, like if we're burning a bunch of cards. Yeah, it's dead draw for a really long time, and I don't think it's worth it personally right now. Tainted Weapon seems pretty cool, actually. Deal 10 damage, but put this card inside of a random monster. So it's not in our deck, but once we kill a monster, we then get it. It's like actually not bad. Because like if we're in a single target fight, it's just in there. But if we're in a multi-target fight, you kill a target and then get 10 damage from that. Cardistry plus defend upgrade. Fossilized Helix is great. <clears throat> okay, so it's inside this guy. Oh, no. It was weird that it, it put it above this guy, but it was in this side. Okay, no, 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 no. So we want to attack this guy. I mean, we still want to kind of go for this guy first, honestly. I'm just going to go for him. Brainwave. We can go like this and then Brainwave for the 50-50. We get it. Awesome. Hologram. Hologram doesn't do a whole lot for us now, does it? I mean, it, it would be good for, like, excitement. Eat without table. Doesn't add a despair to my hand, though. Hmm. But it is drinking a potion. It is drinking a potion. Oh, it wasn't a 50-50 because it's attacks. I'm, I'm forgetting. Sorry. Cool-headed is draw. It is. And we do like orb. The thing with cool-headed, though, is you have to upgrade it for it to be good draw. Unless you get, like, Pyromaniac on it, and then you, draw, and you like, make a billion of them. And then it does allow us to start to take, like, manifest cards and focus stuff. I don't know. Man, this is hard. Chat, give me your uh, asked-for input. Skip, I ain't reading those. <laughs> Two out of the three cards are from one of the base characters in the deck. <laughs> What do you mean you're not reading them? If you've played the game, you know what they do. It's not based. That's not based. Taking a hologram. I'm not... See, I could go for these last two elites, but they're very dangerous. These elites are very dangerous. I'm going this way. Hey. You do have that dog in you? Based, more like biased. True. True. Dude, not only was that card occulted, but it was on fire, so I played it twice. Was that not cool as fuck? Wait, hold on, hold on. Let him cook. Another tainted weapon. Gain an echo. Of a random rare card. It costs zero this turn. It means add a copy of this card to your hand uh, with exhaust and ethereal. So it can only be played once. Ooh. 
That's kind of good, though. I kind of want that. Draw two cards and choose one. You cannot play the other this turn. That's also a cool one. I'm going to take favor, though. That sounds fun. What is the upgrade of it? I'm going to upgrade cards. Not exhausting? See, I want to upgrade this, but I really want to upgrade this. So that we get to use that multiple times. But I really think I want to upgrade this. But it's going to get lit on fire, so like maybe I don't care. I'm going to upgrade hologram. Upgrade two more random cards. I'm going to come. I mean... What card does it give me? Catharsis. Add a despair to your hand. The next card you play costs zero and plays twice. All right, this deck's starting to pop off. I'm going to say it right now. This deck's starting to fucking go freaking fucking nuts. This deck's about to go fucking freaking nuts. Apply one weak and vulnerable. Enemy loses one strength. Add a greater hex to your discard pile. Oh, yeah, we, we saw this the last time. I like this card. I like this card a lot. I like hex. Deals one more damage for each mundane card you've played this combat. Common or basic and special cards. Yeah, great with hologram. I want Boosters Brew over Thorns. Not for the upcoming combat, no. And I do think it might be another upgrade. You could upgrade Favor here. You could upgrade Pyromaniac. I think upgrading Pyromaniac with Handy Haversack is probably really good. We have a lot of cards that we want upgraded. It, it, it makes it so that Giria isn't as useful, but... You know, that is what it is. It's something we'll have to live with. Pyro. I want to play Repel here. It does give him weaken. I do like the weakening. Lesser hex. How chode? Thank you for the four months. Appreciate you, dude. Thank you. Rare strike. Deal nine damage, but deals an additional two damage for all your rares. Well, that kind of sucks. <laughs> that card kind of blows. Oh, man. That wasn't as good. Oh. Okay. Yeah, this shit's kind of going... Kind of going nutso mode right now. Nutso, even butso mode, some might even say. We're adding... Oh, I fuck, I should have blocked. I, I didn't want to get rid of my cards, but I didn't want to... I, I drew. I drew when I didn't want to draw. The flames, man. What up, Shag? Good to see you, man. We're adding so many flames... The flames are building up. This plays three times. Oh, it played four times. And then we could play this. And then we could even do this to play that without it occulting. We can do this. Hit it with one of these. Bring it back. And then watch you fucking burn! Do you think this deck is going to take a lot of brain power? Yeah. No. Yes. Catharsis we saw. Curse. Enemy loses three strength, but then it's locked. It's not bad. Gain two energy. Gain five strength, but gain one addiction. After a number of turns, add two despairs to your hand and lose five strength? No, it's not a crack stream, chat. We're not doing a crack stream right now. Wait, upgrading it gives you two addiction? Wait, what? Why would you want more? Why would you want more? Oh, it's the amount of turns. Oh, you 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 last. Okay. God, it was giving me two stacks of it. No, I'm not taking the addiction card, man. I'm not... Not taking the crack card. We don't have the draw to be able to take the crack card, man. And if it gets set on fire, that's really bad. 
That's really bad, man. Isn't it like a potion? No, you have to draw it. And then you get two curses. How, how, a potion that gives you two curses? That doesn't seem good. Please. I'm not taking the crack, man. What does it do in RimWorld? Wait, hold on. Convince me by telling me what it does. What does it do to you in RimWorld? It's a drug that makes you instantly addicted, and that addiction can't be cured. But does it give you anything? It's a super healing drug, but it is giga addictive. Okay. The rare, powerful, and expensive drug that can heal permanent injuries. That's sick. All right, so no subs then, chat, because then I'm probably going to take curse, because that seems way better. I mean, we're like kind of stacking it with lesser hex. Catharsis gang. I don't know if catharsis is that good, just from the fact that it, it costs a lot. If we had a lot of expensive cards, I think it would be pretty good. It does make your cards play twice, but so does like, uh, you know, it, so, do, so does like a lot of, or, or so does our, our pyro, right? Like it just feels weird, but then you can sometimes get double pyro. Pyro just, like, I like this card, by the way, because it just like slowly burns your deck. Also, chat, remind me if the drug, or if the drugs, Jesus Christ. Nepo, thank you. All right, there's the Luciferum. Um... Remind me that I need to get my wallet. Okay, I kind of want this. Thank you for subscribing. I kind of want that. Because with Pyro, that makes it so good. Like, that actually makes it so good. I really like your stream. Watch it every day. You play so cool and win with fun tactics. You're also interested to listen to it. It's smart. Send something like this. Don't forget to delete what's in the brackets. All right, I'm taking the fucking snack away. Fuck you, Chad. New pasta just dropped. I'll fucking beat you up. I'll beat you up. So, the idea behind... Let me explain while Chad is... Fuck you guys. The idea behind... The idea behind Sneko Eye, right? Is that if, if your cards have a lot of good value, you can take Sneko Eye. And it doesn't matter the cost of the card, as long as the individual card has value. And Pyromaniac makes your card have more value. Think about it. Think about it. Are you thinking? Are you thinky? I'm going to go take triple elites to prove to you how strong it is. Three mana addiction incoming? Wrong. Yo! <laughs> Look what I got! I'm gonna take that damage real quick, real quick, real quick. <laughs> Minus one strength. Get freaking weakened, dude. Get freaking blocked, dude. Oh my god, he's fucking cooking, man. Who let this guy freaking cook, man? A defrag. Remember when we wanted to make this an orb deck? <laughs> you guys remember that? You guys remember when this was supposed to be an orb deck? <clears throat> I remember. I remember back in the day. This was gonna be what Frost Prime called a Pogger's Orb deck. Hold up. Bring back Repel. Double play Brainwave guaranteeing that you can play it. Oh my god. At least use the crack once. I'll use the crack when I'm damn good and ready, man. Like, this time, I think, would be, like, a decent time to not play the crack once again, you know? <laughs> Did I get you? Did I bait you into thinking I was going to play it? E2. Gain three shivs. They have retain. And one rare shiv. What the hell does a rare shiv do? Is it just a shiv with its gold? When you, whenever you draw a, a locked or unplayable card, draw a card. That's cool. I mean, that combos really well with Luciferium. 
Yeah, I'm going to take this. I would like to remove... Oh, actually, upgrading all my strikes and defense is probably very good here. I actually really like that. Uh, Let's transform a strike and a defend now. One of each, please. Did I just get another fucking brainwave? I also got a malleable fire. Deal nine damage X times and add a molded fire that costs X to your draw pile, which has a cult and deals damage for each energy this costs. Wait, deals 11 damage for each energy more this costs than your current energy. So if, it, if it costs three, but I play it for zero, it does more damage. It doesn't say it adds a molded fire plus to your hand, but I like that it upgrades the molded fire. I like that it does, even though it doesn't tell you that it does. My fabric word is frost because we're best friends. Also, I like money, which frost also likes, which is why I'm donating my campaign funds directly to the frost prompt stream. Thanks so much for that. Appreciate that. Some jerky, but it's really tough. <clears throat> I thought maybe eating it in the shower would soften it up. As a shower eater, is that a good idea? Do I just use the steam or the water? Uh huh. All right, this went well. <clears throat> Bring this back. I can play this. Not a joke, true story. What do I do? Chat! It's crack time. Wait, look at the debuff. Do you see that? It's It looks like a coming face. Vanguard. Gain eight block. If you play a precious card with this in your hand, play this card. Okay. That's not bad. It's not a bad card. We do have a lot of precious cards now. Interesting. I think we can lift now, maybe. And also gain upgrade Luciferium. But also upgrade favor, actually. It's a good favor. I kind of want to go this way instead of taking the burning elite. Five apparitions. I don't think so. I don't think that... App I mean, like, do they get doubled with pyro? Yes. Um. Hey, son, I bought a zoo list and all the different animals I have. Squeak, squeaker, squeak. Those are all the animals that you have. That's awesome. Like, on fire apparitions are good, but they become hard to play. They become very difficult to play. So I don't think I want them. They just make your deck difficult to, to get off. Why would you put the thing inside of that? Out of all of the... <sighs> okay, this is a culted. Hey, we can kill you. I don't want it to, to, to not to go away there if I could help it. I'm getting uh, killed. High road two. on you and then play this 
Oh, that's a lot of shivs. <laughs> it's fine. We got this. Because then you bring back another shiv. Okay. And then you gain. You already fucking know. Crack. Blunder? Where's the blunder? Where's the blunder, huh? Mod check. Checking for blunder. Huh? Gain 14 block and make a card in your draw pile occult. Ooh. Okay. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. I mean, dude, I'd love to be able to ascend, man, but I just don't think it's ever going to happen. Occult means that you can play it outside of any normal terms of being able to be played, but if you do that, it exhausts. So if a card costs two and I have one energy, I can still play it, but then it will exhaust it. Let's take Phantom Step. Do I want a Bottled Flame? Put Bottled Flame the Repel. But I also just kind of don't want a Bottled Flame anything. Bottled Flame Brainwave. Bottled Flame Tainted Weapon. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, man. I don't think that does anything. See what happens? I mean, I don't want it in my opening hand. What if it, like, makes me draw one less card every turn? I'm just going to put Repel in my opening hand. I think it's pretty good. Ancient tea set's pretty good. I like that. Do I want to go to a shop with 501 gold? Or do I want to take an elite combat? I could go remove. Spend the gold on something nice for chat. Okay. I mean... Uh, <laughs> All of the riches, all of the finest oh. whining and dinings. Hey, Yo, son, as you know, I bought a zoo. Your mother doesn't think you make enough to support yourself as a streamer. Mm. Want you to know you can come work at the zoo anytime. The animals Thanks. only bite a little bit for fur. Thanks. I'm really happy about that. Could take apotheosis and gamba chip. I do like Gamba Chip with Sneko. It's pretty good. Sneko and Handy Haversack. Layered Defense is pretty good for each card type in your hand. It's not that good. I mean, it's good if, you, if it's on fire. Really good if it's on fire. Apotheosis is really good, even though we've upgraded all of our strikes and defense, just because we have so many other cards to upgrade. Gambling Chip, I think, is a must-have. Maybe it's Gambling Chip and Tungsten Rod. Could be Gambling Chip and the Homie. Could be Tungsten Rod and the Homie. I really like Gambling Chip, I think. I'm going to take that in the homie. Because these two combo together as well, if you think about it. Fruit juice. I like that. Um, 11 block for free. 18 block. Three shivs and a rare shiv. What a lift here. Yo. Assad, dudes. Can we just kill you? If I just lose Safarium here, do you just die? I think so. I just found out that my future is pretty much being paid to play with swords. In hope. Hell yeah. Not quite a kill, but we'll get there. Let's make uh, you playable since you can be overly expensive. Chad, I have so many despairs. You know what? Just fucking kill that guy, actually. I, I lied. I regret things in life. Thank you for the 13 months. I really appreciate that. Congrats on the, the cool sounding job. Whatever the fuck that means. Holy! Chain shotgun. <laughs> Wait, this is so good with uh, with crack. What goes back? This is America. Crack in a, in, a, in, a, in a big fucking gun. Remember when this was supposed to be an orb deck? One in trap. 
<laughs> uh, this place for free, actually. Um, I would like you to be able to be played for free. And I would like you to be able to be played for free. And then I will play you into you, which will then give you a cult. So then I can play this as well. Can you name the video? We made an orb deck. <laughs> no, I'm not going to lie to everybody, okay? Check this out, dude. Boom! Chat, it's time. Wait, the guy didn't die. No, we're not gonna we're not gonna call it we made an orb deck. That'd be a lie, and I don't lie. Well, I could have had Tori Tungsten Rod. I don't need a third brainwave, I don't think. Alright. I think I think we do our final lift. Scam! What is a scam? What did I ever do to scam? Name me this. Tell me right now what I did to scam. Tell me. <laughs> I realize how bad malleable fire now is with uh, Sneko, but it's okay. I want to play you. Then we can do you. Whenever you channel an orb, gain three focus until the end of your turn. Well... <laughs> About that, man. <laughs> yeah, about that whole thing. Okay, we need to block for um, 14 here. Have you ever thought of just doing better? We thought about the fact that I'm gonna punch you in the fucking snout. What the hell, man? Stop. Snout punch, let's go. Suck it, chat. I'm a get punched. Darker embrace. When a card is exhausted, draw one card. Oh, this is the one that I think when you upgrade it, it draws two cards. So if you're wondering, like, why the fuck does it say that? It's because... Yeah. Now you get it. Everybody keep your eye on the door. I got literally like monitors right here and the the doors right there. I I I can notice anything that happens, but TY TY. TY TY. Luciferium time. Please and thank you. Now we Luciferium. Into chain shotgun. Into hologram. Into you guessed it. Chain shotgun. Crack time. Crack time, crack time. Let's, let's give him weakening for next turn. So American. <laughs> should I make this should I make this 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 video called the most American deck you've ever seen? And just have uh Luciferium be on the cover and then just delete the description and write do crack? And then have the chain shotgun next to it. Should that be the the title of it? Alright, as long as we're on the same page. Let's make brainwave playable. I am American and so can you.
This deck's kind of cooking, isn't it? I don't think I want Pyro too. So I want Pyro too. Pyro can be set on fire. Conjuration, choose a card from your draw pile, play it and exhaust it. Upgrade is just play it. Malleable fire too. I don't think we need malleable fire, man. All right. Um, I guess it's just tea set. Our deck does pretty well. I'm not super worried about this deck. With Tori, I think we're doing pretty okay. I think as we, yeah. Oh no, we just became British. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. This shit fucking stinks. I just kill you this turn. Conjuration. Choose a card from your draw pile. Play it and exhaust it. If I go Luciferium. Five strength. Be 12 times three. No, not anywhere close, man. Let's just play Pyro. And then Pyro. And then rummage to full block. And then hit this, because it doesn't matter, because this gets randomized with Sneko. <laughs> it sure did get randomized. Shut up! Thank you for subscribing. I just got dead god, it's finally over. Holy, did you? Are we making you laugh today? No, I would not say that chat. I mean, no, chat's being pretty cute today. I wouldn't say they're making me laugh so much as they're making me like them. You know? <laughs> Discard two cards, draw two cards, enter aggression. Ooh. You guys want to enter aggression? Yeah. It's just 25% more damage. There's no downside. Telephone pole. <laughs> what the hell? Why is it just a card called telephone pole? What the fuck is that? Why the fuck is there a card just called telephone pole? I would never want to make you laugh. Mm -hmm. I'd rather make you feel other things. I'm gonna I'm gonna take uh, three of these here. Let's see what we can't find. None of those seem appealing. None Sometimes of these. I mean, enlightenment's kind of cool. Telephone so. pull at a motherfucker. Deep breath is really good though. Deep breath is good because it, it procs our our abacus. Okay. Luciferium on turn one. Yeah, that was a bad idea, huh? No, I'm not playing it, man. It doesn't do anything. I could do that, but then it procs this, which is bad, so. Luciferium is lethal, though. It's literally not. And I believe that you may be on drugs. All right, I did it. Are you fucking happy that I did it? Are you fucking happy that I played it? Huh? On a scale of one to anime, I believe chat to be on drugs. Same. Enrage. I'm enraged.
Pick another chain shotgun? I don't think so. I mean, maybe we want a second one. This is America. You can't have just one gun. That's true. I need to get one for my kids. Yeah, no, I'm with you. All right. La that's, our, that's, our, that's our last one, though. We're not taking any more. We're not taking any more. Oh, we can't play jack fucking shit, can we? <laughs> what the hell, man? This deck stinks! Hex mm, 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 mm. him. Kiss him. Bring back Luciferium. Play it for three mana. Then play this. Then play this. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. God, I love Sneko. Smiley face in chat of you also kind of like Sneko. Kind of cool gag. Could take another phantom step. But we are just like slowly getting rid of all of our deck. All right, I'm taking another phantom step. This is probably a good position to use this. Uh, don't need you, don't need you. Don't need you, don't need you. Don't need you, love the variety you've had recently and hope to see more crush the industry at some point. I mean, okay. <laughs> I mean, okay. Chris, thank you so much for the nine months. Top to bottom, Joel's now or else. That's plus one energy, man. Luciferium. God, it took one damage. Who? All right, here we go. First up, Luciferium. Second up, Chain Shotgun. Next up, E2. Boom, boom, boom. Oh wait, this doesn't play. <laughs> oh. Wait, I don't have a two cost, I need a two cost card. Fuck, man. <laughs> what, I'm taking 44 damage now? Since when? This is fucking bullshit, man. This is some fucking bullshit. Wow, everything, everything. I love Sneko so much. This is the best part about Sneko is when everything in your hand costs fucking ass. Everything in your hand costs fucking giga. Big. Love that. Ow. Ow. Got him. I'm not taking a third shotgun. Got one card if you hold a mundane card in your hand. I do sometimes do that. All right, let's recall here. Live and die by the Sneko. That is how we're doing it, huh? That is indeed how we're doing it. Pyro. Take one of these, put it on that. Uh, brainwave to get chain shotgun playable. Okay. We just need to set up this deck and we can go hard. If we just set up this deck... Oh my god! <laughs> yes. Yes! Modify two random cards in your hand. Inscribed. Just, it doesn't do anything. 
just makes us play orbs. It's an orb synergy. Nice. That's a good drop. Okay. We just need, again, to set up. Set up some good stuff. Let's get rid of you and get rid of you. Okay, we can we can set up some hexing. Deep breath me. Uh, actually, put hologram back on top real quick. Okay. Can't be weakened, you fucking idiot. Okay. We can full block this. We should focus on that. So that we can uh, use our, our, our buffer on one of these. Okay. Enrage, we can probably get rid of. Okay. Enrage to get rid of you. Draw two cards. Get rid of you guys. Draw two cards. Okay. Play you. Uh, just play you. Okay. All right. All right. Our cards are getting big right now. They're getting huge, some might even say. They're getting fucking huge, man. Okay, this is not the hand that we want to see right now. We can make everything in our hand playable no matter what. <laughs> or everything in our deck playable no matter what if we play Phantom Step three times. No, it's not addiction time. It is not addiction time. Is it addiction time? We could play Chain Shotgun twice. It might be a. Is it addiction time? Ugh. It actually might be addiction time. I don't think it's time to do drugs yet, chat. I think it's. I think it's time to hold off on doing drugs. Maybe. Actually, no. This plays four times. This shit plays straight up four times, man. Five times, yeah. And then this plays... Yeah, that was... It was very much drugs time. Old coin? Okay. Okay, I'm cooking. Make a card in your hand. A called power through. No, thank you. Give me the key, please. We could go here to try to spend our money. Look, an orb card. Hey, look, one of these. Yeah, I watched some of Wild Frost. It just does... It looks like a really fun game. It just looks really confusing to a first-time viewer. That is my general opinion on it. I mean, Brainwaves could be potentially good. But I also really want to get off Pyro. Maybe we have to skip Pyro here. Ooh, this feels bad. Ooh, that feels really bad. Ooh, this feels... This... Uh, we might lose. We might just fucking die. It was like real quick. Hold up. Let me Joel, chat. On the bright side, it was a fun deck. Don't you... It, on the bright side, me, mister. Don't you. Forget about me. Don't, 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 don't. Don't you. Okay. That's just our buffer proc. Paris social, but jokes aside. Yo. Great stream and run so far today. Thank you. Excited for all the Verity content today. Been loving all the Verity that has been on the stream recently. Crab and Lunky are awesome. Keep Maybe you play up, a rare Mr. card in one energy and devote like it. This, but remove this stuff in Stop saying that, man! Stop just putting remove this at the end to make it seem like... I'm gonna cry. Is social D is nuts. Cry, man. Bottle lightning? Exultation. Promote all other cards in your hand. Gain three block for each card promoted. Wait, that's actually like incredible. Wait, we kind of promote a lot of our cards. Promoting means it goes up in rarity. That's kind of cool. 
No, I'm not taking more gun. I'm not taking more gun. All right, what are we putting in our opening hand? It's probably Phantom Step. You could also take Vanguard, because Vanguard gets played for free. It's not crack. Is this an NRA sponsored stream? Yeah, we have we've got crack and guns. What do you want? We've got all the wares. Been watching your streams since that one Magic RPG fly video. That one. Yeah, that one. <laughs> that one way back in the day. <clears throat> I will take two crack, please. I don't want to give you... I'm not going to give you any crack, actually. I was lying. You're not actually going to get any crack. Get fucking scammed. Uh, we should actually enter aggression here. Is it Luciferium time? No. Slay the spire, but every time I see crack, I have to use it. <laughs> what is aggression? You deal 25% increased damage, and when you leave it, you gain uh, two strength. And now it's looking like a little bit of crack time if you're asking me. Look at a little bit of crack, chat. Looking like I'm going to do a little bit of crack here. Smithing oil, permanently upgraded card. If this card is rare, deal 20 damage and apply vulnerable to all enemies. That's a cool card. Stop making crack. Stop cracking jokes about crack. Don't move your head if you like all the jokes about crack. Looks like I'm a funny guy. <laughs> no, he didn't move. He didn't move. No, he didn't. I kind of like this card. But we also do have, like, some form of vulnerable in our hexing. I'm going to take it, though. Maybe it's, like, too much damage. Maybe we're just adding a little bit too much damage. Uh, let's upgrade the Vanguard since it plays for free a lot of time. Fake dog. <laughs> uh, yeah, lose my golden idol and gain a billion dollars. Oh, this guy kind of scares the shit out of me, man. Is that weird that this guy kind of wants to make me go... You know? Like, this guy kind of scares the fucking bejeepers out of me. Pyromaniac. Into Pyromaniac. Into... Radiance. Into... Hologram. Into Radiance. Oh, it literally is unplayable now. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it would just deal the damage. Don't dial your gold. Okay, chat. Throw up. Dry rub. More vulnerable. Whenever you play a card this turn, make a random card in your hand and gain a cult. Okay, everything in our deck now has a cult. This is... <laughs> Mango's died. Thank you for the nine months. It's been a while since I've paid the content tax. How's it going, dude? Good to have you. Much love, all of the waffles. Appreciate you so fucking greatly. Some might even say giga greatly. T-Y, T-Y. Uh, you know what? Smithing oil on chain shotgun. Big. Good, 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 good. Hold up. Play this. 
Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm not even kidding right now. Hex him again. Make every card in our hand playable no matter what. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Next turn, we get drugs. Look at the drugs. Pen! Can I have a pen? Uh, upgrade in Rage. It's actually probably pretty good. Deep Breath's also good. Could take a rare shiv. Smith your drugs? It's not the worst thing you've said. It does give us, yeah, it gives us five strength for two turns. Which is kind of cool. Alright, this fight worries me. Chat. Monka Extreme, please. Uh, we should probably keep in Rage. Hey, double pyro here. I'm going to enrage. Play this. Play this. Picking one damage and proccing our buffer. That's so sad. <laughs> uh, that's really sad. Okay. It's fine. I'm not mad. Um... Should I just go for it? Wait, is this just like a moment where you just like fucking go for it? No. We can we can let Chain Shotgun build itself up like really, really big, you know? Same with Phantom Step. Pyro 3. Okay, this is bad. This is this is getting into dangerous territory, chat. Uh Hexum. I, oh, fuck. I need to play this potion here. Or we can just play three cards next turn. And then take three damage this turn. We can take three damage this turn. I think that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Thank you for subscribing. Yeah, take three damage this turn. End their assassin. Think of the nine. Well done, Chad and Mr. Streamer. The vice president wants to have a chat with you. Okay. That's not the vice president. Oh. XQC. He's pulling his male chicken up. Oh, I don't have the XQC voice. I'm sorry. I'm weird those i didn't know what was going on uh okay three cards here three cards three cards three cards uh, if we play malleable fire it will play vanguard and then we can play hologram and that and then it then it procs <clears throat> okay oh fuck it plays it twice Oops. taking 13 times three that's a lot of fucking damage man but <laughs> no, no uh power card this is all orbs or more pyro. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, more pyro. Fuck it. I, 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 I guess. Darker embrace. Okay. I think we can add a radiance to them. Brainwave. Plus radiance. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Chat, it's 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 time that we think about doing drugs. Can I brock you here? Brock? Can I proc you? I think I can. I need I need to put them below half here. Yeah, that's 22 times 3. That is a lot of damage. Sweet. Hey, don't waste your pendant here. Don't waste your pendant. Drugs. Okay. I didn't even need drugs. I've surpassed the necessity of drugs. I have surpassed the necessity for drugs. I'm too powerful now.
kind of want to upgrade my block cards to be a little bit more efficient. <laughs> uh, trade Beacon. The first time you draw or discard during your turn, draw two cards. Dude, we can just take double cultist potion. What are your thoughts? Drink the Kool-Aid. The forbidden Kool-Aid. All right, we'll take that. Um, what does the prism do in Packmaster? Gives you access to all 700 plus cards, plus the other characters. All right, and then we take Prismatic Shard so that we can see a billion cards. And I think I think that is the money that we would like to spend. Let's take another hologram, bud. Feather! Oh my god, Feather's gonna be so helpful. Holy. <laughs> feather's gonna be incredible. Why not, Feather? Because, uh, uh, because, uh, oh my god, Feather's gonna be so useful. Oh! Look at how useful it is. Pull his cock up. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Taking what? Two damage this turn? That's not bad. Maybe even less. Up, oh, chat. I think the UP, uh, the UPS driver just drove past my house. Never mind. Ne Drugs are not here. I mean, it's not drugs. It's not drugs. It's not drugs. It's not drugs. Wallet. It's not. No, they drove past my house. They didn't. They didn't stop. It's not drugs. It's. It's not. It's not. They're gonna figure out it's drugs. Triple dipple shivvies. I'll keep these, man. Perfect block and draw. Oh, it's just drugs time. It's just time for drugs. Drugs time. Oh, I would love a Redshift Plus. Panacea is also interesting. Because I believe that it could block our addiction. And it could block the strength down. But I think that Redshift might be better. I don't know, man. Redshift just because we... I feel like we lack a little bit of block. I feel like we... I feel like we just lack a little bit of block, man. I just think we need a little bit more block. I, I just think we need a little bit more block density. God, we're literally getting two strength per turn. Everybody say it with me. Double caca. Uh, this is like all of our block cards in our opening hand. <laughs> oh, man. We can make every card on our deck playable, though, which is quite nice. Okay. I think next turn we're probably going to draw extra cards. So for now, let's make our hex playable. Let's make our enrage always playable. We need it to make anything else always playable. Deep Breath is probably another good one. Yeah. And then hit him with a fat one. Could just get rid of this for now. Yeah. Okay. And we press end turn. <laughs> I mean, we could double play fire or double play defend. 
into chain shotgun. No, no, you can't play chain shotgun. It's too much mana because we drew void. Yeah. So then it's just let it fly, yeah? Let him Joel. Dude, the void's gonna play twice. Get out of there. Okay, I could play redshift here. Block a little bit of ding. We are only taking 15. We can also get off lesser hex. So that we can play giga hex later on. I kind of want to actually use this here to be able to draw some of this shit. Yeah, I want to draw some of the bad stuff so we can play the good stuff. We can play double molded fire here or we can play triple of it next time. Interesting that that block is not useful in any capacity. Isn't that weird? Isn't that like kind of weird? Feels a little weird to me, man. I could weaken them for next turn. They gained their strength back, so the, the, the strength down isn't as useful. Could also phantom step in order to be able to play drugs. Or you could even do it on Repel right now. I'm gonna do it on Repel. Because Repel we haven't played yet, so it'll be playable the first time around, and then we can play it again. And if it gets lit on fire, that's even better. Rum bum, hum bum, scum bum bum. Currently have 11 strength. It's all right. It's like, okay. <laughs> mm, that block. Mm. So juicy. So juicy. I was really hoping that would hit this. You can change shotgun though for 50 times three. That's pretty good, yeah? Double wound. Try triple wound. Nice. 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 I do not believe that it is drugs time. We have surpassed the necessity for drugs, chats. We no longer need them. We're too powerful. Okay, this makes us take one. Admiral Nips, think of the 10. Six. Play that. Hologram back. Chain shotgun. Hit him with one of these. Hit him with one of those. Boom, boom, boom. 169 HP left. Give me the drugs. Give me the drugs. Dustfinger, they were the 14 months. Yes! I'm doing fantastic, how are you? Stream as often as before, but I still watch the YouTube videos for the Boggy Woggy content. Much love, baby, much love. Always appreciated. Holy fuck, we just killed him. I was gonna do like a whole thing where I like set up with drugs and stuff. I just. Gladys, as but I, I just like fucking killed say, them. Do drugs, fight gods, and pet dogs. Nice Gladys. Nice Gladys voice. That was a fucking awesome run. That was so sick, wasn't it? That was awesome.
Uh, you've done better. Ba da dum bum bum ba da dum bum bum. 